Just six weeks after hurricane force winds damaged several parts of Valdosta, neighbors are now taking cover from yet another storm. You never really prepared for a hurricane when it happens because you don't ever expect it to happen. I'm Malia Thomas, your neighbor reporter here in Valdosta, and I'm tracking how some of our neighbors are staying safe. Dr. Michael Knoll has lived through rounds of severe weather over the last several months. The biggest challenge that uh, homeowners have to face, and this is a new one for me, is dealing with insurance companies as well as contractors. With more storms rolling through South Georgia, he tells me he's not going to let anxiety over the possibility of more damage get the best of him. Once it happens, the only thing you can do is you pick up your pieces, you help your neighbors, and neighbors may help you, and roll up to your sleeves and get to work. And that's all there is to it. Storms are not. Louds County leaders say. We always say if you stay prepared, you don't have to get prepared. Their main focus is keeping the Azalea City informed about weather threats. In less than a year, this community has had a lot to clean up. Thousands of downed trees during Hurricane Idalia last fall, a tornado in February, hurricane force winds in March, and several rounds of flooding. It's all taught Dr. Knoll this lesson. There's nothing to fear but fear itself. You can still be prepared though, and that's the important part. FEMA and its federal partners have provided more than $820 million to help with recovery efforts from Hurricane Idalia in the Big Bend and South Georgia. In Valdosta, I'm Malia Thomas, reporting for ABC 27.